My name is Patricia Sutton and I've been keenly interested in butterflies for at least 30 years and I worked for New Jersey Audubon Society for 21 years as an educator um, teaching people about gardening for wildlife and since I retired in 2007 I've been having lots of fun continuing to teach workshops and lead tours of private butterfly and hummingbird gardens. Over the years, I've often been asked by, by people who are interested in wildlife, they ask me, where are all the butterflies of my youth? And I'll answer that question with another question. In your youth, were there more fields with wildflowers and meadows? And often you see a, a light bulb go on that, yes, in their youth, there weren't the extensive developments that we see today. It was more farmland and edges and wildflowers. So butterflies have probably been directly affected by the fact that we don't have wildflower meadows in proliferation like we did 30, 40, 50 years ago. Um, on top of that, you get a year like this year with the extensive cold uh, weather that we had in the spring and the rains, just day after day after day of rains, and the butterflies couldn't go through their life cycle um, and didn't emerge from either a chrysalis if they wintered as a chrysalis like the tiger swallowtail or perhaps the caterpillars didn't make it because there was so much rain they might have even been washed off of the leaves they needed to eat or they were too cold to eat so yeah this year the numbers were non-existent it was spooky yeah, it has been exciting to see the number of butterflies since early August. Uh, it's as if there was not a problem this spring. There are good numbers right now, which is heartening, but maybe next year we'll see the effects of having a many month long period where there literally were barely any butterflies flying when there should have been lots of butterflies.